You are listening to Jerry Slot, the Online Podcast. Trying not to swerve, but my way got me running up the curb. I learned my role, have faith and be still. Life on cruise control. Jesus took the wheel. My life is hard cold. I'm in that dirt to my shirt, black is charcoal. All my life I had to fight like the color purple. Praying to God on my knees, face on the church floor, stuck in the circle. But see, everything changed when I call on that name. And the secret to success, and he breaks every chain. It's equal opportunity. I ain't special made. If he did it for me, for you, he'd do the same thing. See the problems in my life, all the pain and the strife. It's hard to sleep at night, because my money isn't right. Every step I take, I lose. So what am I supposed to do? Man, 
Watch this. Jesus, take the weight. It's too easy. It's too easy. For my God, for my God, it's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. For my God, for my God, it's too easy. Take the weight. It's too easy. It's too easy. For my God, for my God, it's too easy. Driving in the fast lane, trying not to swerve. But my way got me running up the curb. Along my road. You are listening to Jerry Wars Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, good morning, Dr. Kelly. You on the line, sir? Yes, sir. Good morning, Batman. How's everybody doing? Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you, too. Happy Father's Day weekend, gentlemen. All right. I haven't opened up the lines yet, Doc. I uh, just want to know if you had a few words you want to say. Start us, open us up in prayer before I open up the, the line for the summit. Yes, sir. Praise God. Jerry, join us in prayer, my brother. Amen. And the gentleman as well. Amen. Father God, we come on this glorious morning thanking you for who you are and what you are, oh God. Oh, God, we thank you, Father, for the spirit of love. We thank you, Father, for the spirit of fatherly goodness and mercy that you have blessed all fathers with. Oh, God, Father, and on this day, amen, as we get ready, Lord, to share you and bless the airways, grace the airways, we ask you to bless this platform. Oh, God, this weekend, many in this world and in this this nation, some awaken, some will wake up with no fathers. But those father who have, who doesn't have their fathers, we ask God that you strengthen them. Strengthen them, oh God, right now. Bless them and be with them and go with them, God, Father. Let them realize that they, they are a king on the inside. And the queens, Father, the mothers, Lord, who are standing up as a mother and a father as well, bless them. Bless the panel today. Thank you for their sacrifice. And let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, let it be acceptable and to thy sight. Oh, God, Father, we ask, Father, there's anything, Lord, that's in our script, uh, Father, on our platform that shouldn't be, let it be removed and place it, Father, with purity. Place it with, with, with grace. Oh, God, Father, give the platform, God, oh, God, the spirit to bless somebody. So bless it, oh God, and place Dr. Kelly, place us behind your cross. Place all of us behind your cross, that in a time of trouble, oh God, you shall hide us in your tabernacle. It is in Jesus' name that we pray, amen, and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, Doc, I'm about to open up the lines. I hope everybody have a great, great summit. Amen. Amen. And a Thank great you. weekend. Powerful show on today, Jerry. All right, the lines are open. I guess we need a roll call. Yes, sir. Amen. Good morning, gentlemen. Amen. Do we have on the line with us today? Praise God. Amen. I want to start off, amen, with roll call. Windsor Music. Amen. Jay Windsor, are you there, my brother? I am. Good morning, gentlemen. How you? Hallelujah. We're going to rock the day. We're going to rock the day with Jay Windsor. Amen. Martinson. Martinson. Harmon. Amen. Marty the Greatest. You're on the line with us today, my brother. We're going to have fun, man. Marty, are you with us today? Yes, I am. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to God. I already got one of my Father's Day presents, and I'm great to be with so, uh, such a great body of men. Hallelujah. Gentlemen, y'all ready to get deep today? Amen. Uh, on some powerful topics on who I am in the image of God, the making of a king, a man, Apostle John Ross. Are you with us today, sir? Good morning. Yes, sir. I am here. Praise the Lord, everybody. Remember thy creator. Hello. Amen. In the days of our youth. My, 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 my. Glad to have you with us. Amen. Apostle John Ross. Amen. The host of Let's Talk with the Lord. Ron E. Jefferson. Somebody's on fire. The sanctified podcaster. John, hey man, Ron E. Jefferson, you with us, sir? I don't think Ron is with you us with yet. Him. Yeah, I don't think Ron is on yet. All right. I'll let you know. Praise God, amen. Praise God, gentlemen, are you ready? Let's do it. Hey, sir. Amen. Yeah. At, the end, at the end of the show, amen, I would ask, amen, Apostle John Ross, amen, to close us out in prayer. Amen. Gentlemen, I just ask you all to clear your background free of noise. 
Amen. We are live. Amen. And this is a representation, amen, also of iHeartMedia Radio. So we ask, amen, that we just, you know, grace the airwaves, amen, with with just grace and, and, and honesty and purity. We're going to help somebody out there today. We thank you, gentlemen. Amen. Uh, happy Father's Day to each, every, each and every one of you. Happy Father's Day. Same to you, brother. Thank All you. Right. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God, gentlemen. Amen. For some of you, amen, who may not know Dr. Kelly, amen, I'd kind of like to just introduce myself, amen. I am a moderator, first of all, of this powerful show, amen. I'd like to thank my producer, Jerry Royce, amen, for his vision of this powerful platform. So shout out to Batman. Y'all give him some Give him some some honor and some hands up out there. Amen. First of all, let me ask. Yes, sir. Go ahead, gentlemen. Amen. First of all, even before we get started, gentlemen, I got a question for y'all. Can y'all feel the power? <laughs> we feel the power. Can anybody out there feel the? Yes, sir. Yeah, we, we feel, feel the power. Hallelujah, gentlemen. We're going to get right to this powerful show. Amen, nation. And if you're just ju- tuning in with us, Amen. This is a powerful, powerful powerful anointing platform of next man up praise god and in this design a man and set up in a vision praise god to mentor and help the youth a man around the country we as men of god we we have a responsibility a man to and i'm quite sure we can get a man on that a man to help our youth a man our young men to mentor so this show we literally just get down with it, my brothers, amen, uh, and just bless somebody out there because you never know who's listening. Praise God. A young man may be listening, amen, or, or a mother or a leader may be listening. So without further ado, we're going to get, we're going to get into this topic show, amen. I'm going to ask my producer, first of all, amen, Jerry Royce, Batman, we have any honorees of the month? Oh, we haven't had a chance to talk about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to God. it. Okay. Amen. Amen. Well, all of you, amen, we salute all of you as honorees, all of you, amen, literally as fathers, leaders, amen, if you are fathers. If that's appropriate for me to say, amen, we honor you all as fathers. And I'm quite sure we can get an amen right there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Gentlemen, we're going to start this start this platform off, amen, on the topic of who I am in the image of God, praise God, the making of a king, the making of a king. And if you allow me, amen, to set the commentary, uh, as Samuel searches for a son, uh, or I should say searches for Saul, replacement, literally, amen, I want to share with you all, amen, many times, sometimes you're placed into a position where you are appointed by someone else. Watch where we're going with this, because this is going to set it up. Many times we are placed in a position by someone else, and they may not even realize the potential of your gift. Oh, hallelujah. They might not even realize the potential of your gift. Amen. And as I set this commentary up, as Samuel in 1 Samuel 16, 1 through 4, gentlemen, we, we're not we're – not, we're not, here to preach or anything, amen, although I know y'all, y'all got preaching in you, we want to set a, a, a tone or a platform, amen, to share with the listeners that we may not look like what we've been through. Come on, somebody. We, we, we may not look like, amen, we've been through the fire, the hell, amen, the ups and the downs and the twists and the turns. Oh, my God, amen. So as Samuel searches for Saul's replacement, look out. He nearly makes a mistake by judging the appearance, amen, the second time of a little shepherd boy named David. Amen. I'm not going to discuss that too long. I just want to set the commentary over in 1 Samuel 16, 1 and 4. The boy, David, the little boy, he seems somewhat inconsequential. I'm quite sure you all been through this. He seems a little timid to them. But David was on the backside. Come on, somebody. He was protecting the sheep as a little a rooty boy. They call him a rooty fella. And in the Hebrew term, that simply means dark-skinned. Look out, y'all. Amen. <laughs> but with the God's help, he finally recognized in David's 
in David, God's choice for Israel's king. So in the making of a king on this platform today, on the surface, David, we might not. Come on, somebody. On the surface, David, which is you and us, it, it, we, do, we don't project the image of uh, gravitas. Y'all know what I'm saying, my brothers, or kingship. Amen. Uh, but a little later in that story, you all read that many times, and I'm getting ready to get to this powerful pop topic because the nation is waiting. The Philistine giant is similar to many of our obstacles. Did y'all catch that? Yes. Amen. The Philistine giant, amen, is similar, amen, to many of our obstacles. Many times we can't get past a man, whatever we're going through, because we see men as trees. Y'all know the Bible, amen, amen. And so in First Samuel 17 and 14, David is non-traditional, amen. So sometimes we seem like the non-traditional candidate for reasons beyond our youth. And John Ross going to get down on this. <laughs> I know he is, amen, amen. He is the last son of society, amen, based on his premises of the firstborn. Moreover, and I'm finished, moreover, he is ethnically, watch this, y'all, he's mixed. Come on, somebody. He's not, he don't look like the, the leader. Amen. As Saul, amen, began to choose him to kill this Philistine giant, amen. He wasn't pure. He wasn't a pure Israelite. We don't appear to be who we are, amen, but we are who we are in the image of God, amen, because one of his, one of uh, David's grant, uh, I should say, David's grandmother was Ruth, amen, and for commentary purposes, you can find it in Ruth 4, 21 to 22. She was an immigrant from the kingdom of Moab. So through David, amen, has several, already he has several strikes against them. But God sees a promise. Good God, amen. My first question, amen, I should say our first topic of discussion, my brothers, amen, in today's societies, who I am in the image of God, the making of a king in today's societies, and this question goes to, amen, the first gentleman that I called off, amen, we must continue to represent who we are in the image of God, and this is this is basically, I'm going into our first question, we must continue to represent who we are in the image of God, amen, as to, in today's time. We must continue to represent who we are in the image of God as a modern day's ambassadors, kings and queens, mothers and fathers, amen, to set the example for our sons and daughters, amen. So first question, amen, the first, first topic that I really want to go into, amen, uh, let's, go, let's go with uh, Jay Windsor. Praise God. Thank you for having us, for having, thank you for being with us today, sir, amen. How yes, do sir. you set the standards, my brother? And various in your various ministries to demonstrate your kingship and happy fathers there again in the image of God. What should display as fathers? What should your image display? Amen. Thinking of King David and what he been, went through. Go ahead, my brother. The floor is yours. And then, uh, for, first of all, take about a take about a minute to introduce your ministry, and then go right into that. And we'll we'll proceed. Amen. With uh, with uh, Harmon, you know, uh, Martison Harmon, amen, Marty the Great, and then uh, Apostle Johnny e. Ross, amen. And we want Batman to get in and on this too thing, all right? Okay, go ahead, Doctor. Amen. The floor is yours, sir. Well, good morning again to uh, all these magnificent men of God that are on the line. Uh, again, I'm Jay Windsor, uh, National Gospel Recording Artist and licensed, Hallelujah. And ordained, minister of the, licensed and ordained minister of the gospel. Uh, this story is very fascinating and it, it, it's intriguing within its own self. But to really answer your question, uh, as far as kingship is concerned, um, the very first mm -hmm. thing that I do um, is make sure that I'm the priest of my house. Hallelujah. That's the very first thing. Um, mm -hmm. In order to uh, rule and reign outside of the house, your home has to be in order. And so you as the, the priest of your home or the king of your home, you have to set the standard. And the very first thing that I do is pray with my family daily. Uh, mm. Every single morning, I pray for my family. We pray together collectively um, as a family consistently. And what that does is set the foundation for everything else so that when my wife leaves the house or our children leave the home, they're covered, they're blessed, uh, even when I leave the house. Uh, and so 
the, the premise for, for kingship, in my opinion, is the foundation of a strong prayer life from the man, you know, as far as the order yes, is, is concerned. Yes, and so having that strong prayer life, making sure that um, you're hearing from God on how to lead, how to walk, how to talk, how to carry yourself, um, your kids begin to emulate those certain characteristics that you are portraying, whether they're mm. good or bad. Oh. And so you have to be able to set the tone and not to say that you're going to be perfect, but here's a, here's another crux. Make sure that even when you are out of line, that you are humble enough to go to your wife or your children and apologize for that, that infraction, because that okay. speaks volumes of them being able to follow your leadership when you yourself can see errors in your ways. So again, mm-hmm. um, I would definitely say uh, having a strong, solid prayer life uh, would definitely set the foundation for everything else to be successful in your life concerning becoming a king, not just in your home, but in your businesses and wherever your feet may try. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I I, I uh, commend you on that, sir. Praise God. Jane Windsor, amen. He said he set this standards by praying, amen. First of all, praying for his household, amen, setting the example, setting standards on how to lead, amen. Jay, Jay Windsor, bro, I, I, I'm finna push you a little bit, man. How 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 often have you been challenged, amen, with your kingship, amen, and knowing who you are? Come on, my brother, amen. Oh man, you, man. yes sir, yes sir. We, oh, this, this is what this is what next man up is about, bro, amen. You know you're a king, but every now and then we 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 we, we be challenged with that, amen. And we're gonna we're gonna pass this off to. Uh, Martin Harmon, amen, Marty, Marty the Great, right after your quick comment on that, Doc. I've been challenged from birth. Um, I was mm. adopted. I didn't, didn't know who my, my mom and father was. Here we um, go. Had a heart murmur. Um, I wasn't supposed mm. to live past a certain amount of months. And, um, you know, had a few um, surgeries or what have you to, to, to remedy that problem. So from day one, you know, um, there's mm. been challenges. And, of course, the older you get, um, and the closer you get to God, the enemy recognizes that, and he wants to do everything he can to, to try to throw you off track. But God, you know, um, you know the, old, the, 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 the old hymn writers used to say, you know, hold to God's unchanging hand. And so mm. you have to remember that even in the midst of you going through, as David later wrote in the book of Psalms, even though I go come through, on. Come on. I won't stick and stay there. I'm going to come through it. And so that's the, that, that's the key. And so for me, it started from birth, you know, and, and God has, has, has allowed um, seasons to pass and, and things to go through to where I'm still here. I may not have everything I want, but I have everything I need because I got Jesus and I'm still here. Praise God. Still here. Oh, my God. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Heart murmurs. Amen. Uh, challenges. Amen. But he said, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Life is filled with swift transitions. Amen. Brother going to get a song on in a minute. Amen. I can feel that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Martin Harmon, Marty the Great. Amen. Yes. Welcome to the show. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And thank you, Jay Wizards, for those words of wisdom. Amen. Marty, tell us uh, about yourself and your ministry for a few seconds there. Amen. And then Jen, stru- jump right in on this, sir. Amen. How how do we represent or how do we continue to represent in today's time as ambassadors of kings and queens, mothers and fathers to set the example for our sons and daughters? Praise God. Amen. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the nation and the listeners. Well, I'm so, uh, first of all, I'm so grateful to be a part of this summit of great uh, men of God. And I'm I'm also grateful to Jay Windsor for starting us off so strong. I mean, he oh, had me up in here, man, and already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for that. We have but, a church. Uh, for, yeah. for the people in the nation, I'm I'm just, uh, my name is Marty the Greatest, and I'm only the greatest because I serve the greatest, and you are the greatest as well. So go out today and do something great. But uh, you know, I I I am an artist. I'm a songwriter, and I I just you know look to be served, and I just look to serve uh, in any capacity that God has me. When he when he says when he points, I go. Um, 
but turning my attention to the topic, I, I'm, I'm going to play off a lot of things that Jay Winston said because I, I believe That's he hit right. a lot of things on, on the uh, – <laughs> he, he, he hit the head on the nail. But I will say this. I will say this. The greatest commission God has given us is to create disciples. I think we all can agree that. Yep. And mm-hmm. basically, in order for us to create disciples, we have to be examples. That's what leaders are. Leaders is two things that when I think of the story of David, is two things that he that he were. He was a leader, and he was a great. He was a servant. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, actually, a uh, uh, example and a servant. You know, when, when he when he came when he came to Goliath, he could have just sat in the field, and he, he it wasn't his responsibility to take on the giant. But he wanted to serve. He wanted to serve God, and he wanted to serve the people of Israel. So he he fought the giant. Now, one thing I I, I read the whole the whole chapter of First Samuel uh, chapter sixteen. Oh, we're going I, to church today. <laughs> <laughs> one, one thing I caught at the end, I caught at the end that here here it is. Saul, you know, Saul has taken over. And, and God has rejected Saul because of how he his behavior, and you know. So David was the anointed king. Mm-hmm. Now he told Samuel to anoint David, but he left it at that. Come on, come you on. know, a, a, a lot of things that, that we do as a father, you know, we can't do it in our own strength. You know, we view as the protector, we view as the superhero. And, and I, I'm pretty sure all of us would, has been brought into a time where we just feel helpless. We want to do something for our kids, but we just feel helpless. And it, oh. it, and that's at the time when we have to turn to God. And God told him, mm-hmm. he said, anoint, anoint, all I want you to do is anoint. I that's take anoint. care of the rest. That's right. And at, and, and at the end of the chapter, we, 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 we probably thinking as we're reading, well, how are David going to become the king if, you know, everybody afraid of, afraid of Saul? Well, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, look how God set it up. He mm. sent a spirit to torment Saul, and and, and Saul yeah. sent out for David to play the harp. So every time this the spirit torments Saul, David plays the harp. He made mm. David need it. Wow. And, and and when you are a king, sometimes we may not see how we are gonna get there. Come on, boy. But. With God, when we, when we leave it in God's hands, even with our children, we we we, we see their vision, and we don't know how they we get there. But as I mean, as an example, as a man, as a father, we have to realize that we are we are basically being an example and a leader for leaders. My daughter hmm. is a leader. Come My on. wife is a leader. But 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 they they get example of being a leader from by us being a leader. And in order to be effective leaders, we have to rely on God. We can't do it in our own strength. And David oh. never did it in his own strength. He always relied. He always knew where to look to. And, and he looked to the hills, which come in his help. Praise God. So we, so we should. And, and, and I'm going to say this and wrapping it up. That's all right, Doc. Jay Windsor said that. When he, when he mess up, he would have to come and and he would atone for his his his, yes. his mistake to his, yes. his 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 wife and his daughter. Now I have had the I have had to do the same. I'm pretty sure we all have, oh, um, yeah. being men of God. But the fact of the matter is, one thing I realized is when I did mess up and I come to my wife and I come to my daughter and I to to atone, they would mm-hmm. give me grace, and I realized mm-hmm. that they that they learn getting grace. Uh, giving grace because I gave grace when they messed up in return. Wow. And it's because I was shown grace from God. And that's how mm-hmm. this leadership this leadership mechanism works, is us being aware that we are leaders, leaders being le- uh, leaders for mm-hmm. other leaders. Okay, that, wow. I, I can say a lot. So I'm, I'm going to get up on that note. Oh, I feel the spirit on this one. Wow. Yes, sir. Go on and shout, man. Martison, the great. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ooh. Amen. Uh, amen goes right there. Amen. amen. He basically, nation, if you're just tuning in with us, amen, on this powerful, 
powerful next man up summit amen we'd like to welcome everybody amen in the queue amen those who are listening amen those who are overseas amen uh military men and women of god happy father's day amen and happy belated mother's day Welcome to Positive Power, 21.org Worldwide Christian Media and Music Vision and iHeart Radio internationally. Amen. And uh, shout out to our producer, amen, Jerry Royce, Batman. Amen. You're just tuning in with us. Praise God. We have gospel artist Jay Windsor. He said, pray for the house. Set an example as a king. You just heard, amen, artist and songwriter Marty the Great. Martin Harmon, meaning, amen, he has the greatness of God in him, and he basically founded on setting an example of a king, my God, amen. I like the way you said that, my brother, because you said we have to, we have to remember God's grace, sir. And an amen goes right there because if it wasn't for his goodness and his grace, amen, I don't think we would be here. So that was powerful, sir. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Applause to go out to you. Host of Let's Talk to the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Amen. Remember thy creator in the days that have died youth. Amen. Apostle John Ross, talk to us today, sir. Amen. On this topic. Praise God. Amen. I know you're doing powerful over there on that on that powerful platform, but thank you for sacrificing your time today and happy Father's Day to you, sir. Amen. We must continue to represent Apostle John Ross, who we are in the image of God, especially in modern days, in the modern days time as ambassadors, kings of queens, kings and queens as mothers and fathers to set the example for our sons and daughters and also our community. So the first discussion that is relevant to today's subject, amen, of the apostle, Amen to this powerful topic. Amen of making of a king. How do you set the standards in your various ministries to demonstrate kingship? And this, and this, this, this society, man, is rough. It's rough. You just heard, Amen, Martin the Great, Amen, and Jay Windsor. Amen. How do you do that, Amen? The floor is yours, sir. Welcome to the next man up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Morning. Praise God. Morning. I am glad to be here today. Happy Father's Day. To all yes, of the sir. fathers out there, amen, I, I consider it a privilege and an honor to be with uh, such extinguished panelists like Marty the Greatest and, and Jay Windsor, amen. And I pray oh, that uh, maybe in this upcoming year sometime before the year is out, we could connect uh, on Let's Talk to the Lord on, on a different uh, platform. But I also want to thank God. I was... Uh, surprised last night, Dr. Kelly, when I was just kind of uh, preparing for today and and just <laughs> happened to go online and then found out that I was nominated for a spin award for Let's Talk Ooh. to the Lord for, for Talk love. Show of the Year and Host of the Year. I was like, Lord, God. have you mercy. I, I didn't expect that, Dr. Kelly. I was like, Lord, have mercy. I saw it this morning, man. We began to pray over it. My Lord, Thank you, God, Lord. God got this. Man. He got it. He set us up. Well, you Amen. you spoke it into an existence the last broadcast, and I received it. So hey, and and now it's it's here. So we thank God for that. But I really thank God for this topic, the the making of a king. And, and it's your topic, brother. Lord have mercy. Um, starting out here, I, I just as I was went to the Lord and and I began to say, well, Lord, my goodness, when it comes to to the making of a king, um, man, it, this is pretty broad. So I said, Lord, bring it in to to uh, where we are right now in this season, and you know, for the making of a king, we, where we speak, uh, we seek the understanding of the making of a king. We are speaking from the aspect of a process producing something. You know, we are talking about the essential qualities and our character and the creation, um, the potential capacity and the essentials that it makes that it takes to make us good kings. And many times in some of cases, we're struggling because as a king, a king has to be developed. It's 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 Come not on. an overnight process. It's it's because of our immaturity sometimes that we must understand that we are not speaking from 
or about becoming a king because you're next in line. But we are talking more from the aspect of in Christ. And in Christ, we inherit our kingly priesthood from a supernatural rebirth. So the first thing is we have to have a rebirth in Christ. Because a lot of times uh, in, in the anointing of a king in biblical histories, kings were anointed out of the priests and the prophets like Melchizedek. And Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords in mm-hmm. Revelations that is declared in 19 and 16 and Revelation 17 and 14. The title king indicates someone who has the power to exercise absolute dominion in all of his realms. Mm. Now, right here, in the case of the Lord Jesus, that means all of creation, my God. But for us, our realms are our jurisdictions, our homes, our territories, because as a joint heir with Christ, as we become molded and shaped into our kingship from Christ, our realms are and our territories are assigned by God, and we yes, rule and yes. govern by the leading and the guiding of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Our gifts and our callings and our mantles and anointings given us by God help determine our physical realm in this physical earth. And once we master our spiritual realm with purity, sanctification, purification and fruitfulness with God's word, our territories, our properties, etc., begin to expand and to grow in our world in which we live. That's and cool. and so discovering that as I was looking up this topic last night, because a lot of times we have the backwards. We kind of we seek the world first before we seek God. We Preach try well. to begin building, and we haven't even been rebirthed yet to Him, so that we can begin to carry out. Uh, his will for our created purposes and our lives. And in doing so, we error like Adam and Eve did. And, and, and if this goes on without repentance, of course, now we are in the world in which we live in today's society that really needs a Savior. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, my brother, Amen. That boy, you, a, a, a gentleman, brother. We, I know, I know, y'all, all y'all got preaching in you. However, Hallelujah. Y- y- y'all, y'all make the passage that want to shout all around the studio. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Apostle Johnny Ross. Amen. Uh, the quality of our character. Amen. When it comes to displaying our kingship, he said sometimes we go through development. Amen. And that that consists of shaping and molding. And he said we inherit our kingship through God. I like that. A rebirth, in other words, he said. And he brought up Melchizedek, interestingly enough, amen, uh, from the kingship from from Salem. Amen. He had no beginning. They didn't know too much about Melchizedek. Melchizedek as he met Abraham. And I like that analogy, sir, because it puts us in the mind, if you allow me just to just to kind of glimpse into that or gleam into that, sir, uh, Apostle and men yeah. on the panel. There's a reason why God placed Melchizedek in your spirit. Amen. Uh, oftentimes, we don't have to know. We don't have to. We don't have to have. It's, it's kind of like saying nobody needs to know who we are. Can, yeah. can, can y'all work with me on that one for a second? Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. M- yeah. M- Mikhail's attack, no one really didn't know too much about him. Yeah. However, there was an image. There was an image of Christ, like Apostle John Ross. I, I like to dig deep in this, brother. Y'all might not know this. I like to dig deep with this, brother. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. The Mikhail's attack, amen. Abraham laid a tenth, a man of his, you know, his, his, his earnings right there. Amen. And now I want to share something with you all for a moment. Amen. We are kings and queens, a man of the world. Amen. And we set an example. Praise God. I, I, I have to emphasize this. Amen. Oftentimes, 
I don't even introduce, and we're finna get we're finna get deep into this next topic, Amen. I I don't even really introduce myself as Doctor Kelly, Amen, or on on some platform, certain platform. It's only in the environment or which it's setting for. It's just Paul, and many times, gentlemen, you can relate to this. Sometimes I don't even speak until I'm spoken to. Mikhail Zadak set that example, amen. That's basically, uh, I like the way Apostle uh, John Ross, amen, laid that in there. And then the power of existing, amen, a, a king, amen. He even used an example, uh, using what a king is, uh, the power of existing, all of his rights, amen. But he brought it back to the homes, amen. We are joint heirs of Christ. And then Martison, King Martison, amen, he said, we have to show grace. Good God, amen, and, and the gospel artist, amen, Jerry Wisner, he said, we've got to pray for the house. So as you see, gentlemen, all of us are connected on the same tune, praying for our house, setting grace. We are joint heirs of Christ. It starts in our home. I know this is God sent. I know this is a, a prophetic right now, prophetic right now. Hallelujah. Panel. That God has designed. Look, that that's unity. Amen. <laughs> that's unity. Amen. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like to commend you, gentlemen, for being in connection with God. Amen. Amen. I wanna I wanna hear from our producer, Amen, Dr. Jerry Royce, Amen, before we go to a a, a song break. I just really need to share with y'all just for a minute, Amen. My book, Homelessness in the Church, talks about a lot of this, Amen. And I ask you all to download this. Give me a thumbs up when you download this, gentlemen. This book will change your life. Homelessness in the church. Wow, I didn't know that. David experienced a similar of homelessness in the church. He very, very similar, a small depression, a very small spiritual depression just after a man he was being cheered for. And I think my brother Martison hit on that. My brother, you hit on that. A man just after he killed King you know, uh, the Goliath, amen, the, the Nephrite, amen, the, the giant, amen, mm-hmm. just because he was cheered for, Saul became angry. In this book that was just released, gentlemen, get the book, get the book, give me a thumbs up, amen, on, on the uh, paperback or the or e-book, Homelessness in the Church is a powerful book, Homelessness in the Church, Wow, I didn't know that. You can go there to Amazon, recently ranked a num- number 11, amen, and number 9, and number 7 on June the 6th through June 10th. Liter- literally, it's a powerful book, amen, and it's one of Amazon's new best-selling e-books, amen, on the genre of spirituality and religion, amen. Get the book, amen, to change your life. Give me a thumbs up, amen, throughout the week when you guys get this book and, and leave a review for this. Jerry Royce. He's credited in this book, for the most part, as our engineering of my soon-to-be-released Bible college, amen, Pastor's Time International, amen, Biblical College. He's, he is basically credited for that, amen, engineering the website, amen. It will be launching soon. But in this book, amen, it talks about disenfranchisement, silence, psychological and spiritual depression. We're going to talk about that on the second half of the show, but I want to hear from our producer, amen, Jerry Royce, amen, Batman. Just give us your wisdom, Batman, Dr. Jerry Royce, on this powerful topic, amen, of how do we represent ourselves in today's time as ambassadors. It's kind of hard. I know it is, amen, as kings and queens and mothers. It is, literally, it's almost a challenge, amen. And this topic right here, we're going to get deep on this on this book matter, amen. Dr. Jerry Roy. Hey, hey. Yo. What's up, gentlemen? Hey. Thank you for being part of this. Thank you so much on this, on this great weekend, too. And uh, I was going to say, bring me in, coach. They bringing it. <laughs> bring me in, coach. <laughs> You, you in, you up next. Bat, man Batman up. gotta get into this one. You know, Doc, when I looked at that title, make make him of a king and, and what Jay Windsor said and, and what Marty said and what Johnny Ross, you lump all that in, you think about Martin Day Kings. No no matter how bad your dad is or how good your dad is, you still want him to see that you making of a king. You want to make him proud. And I, and I look at some of those NFL players and I look at the successful ones. And a lot of times they're the ones on there thanking their grandmothers. 
because the grandmother got them on that playing field. And now they're showing the dad, not just the world. They're not showing the world. They're showing their dad. They're a world class oh, yeah. human being. You know, and, you, and listen to some of those guys' stories, like your like your Ray Lewis's and your, and your Ray Rice's and those guys. Their dads weren't in their lives for a very, very, very long time, but they became marquee athletes. And even some of these guys that's out here now, the successful businessmen, they 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 modern day kings. They they were making of a king, even if their dad was good or bad in their life or not. They were still making of a king. And I think about my boys sometimes, you know, I look at, you know, how this world is, how we, you know, a lot of us know what it's like, you know, on your jobs and your communities, just trying to, yes, trying to survive out here, you know, trying to protect your family, trying to protect your little girls. And you want to, and you kind of want to arm your kids with the right tools. So, so if you're not there anymore, they can still survive this world. And, and that's, and that's the book. And, and, and Jay Windsor brought that up first, showing them how to pray, bringing God in their life. I remember my mom and my dad instilled that first in us. I remember them taking us when we didn't have a car. I remember we was walking to church, and it wasn't just two, three blocks for us to get there. Neither I think we walked two to three miles to get to this church every Sunday. They made sure we had clothes on our back and a little suit, and they instilled that into my brother and I that we still wear suits to this day. We was used to wearing a jacket, no matter what the weather was like. We wore a jacket, and um, you think you have to instill those those positive things in your kids especially your young boys, because you, we know what it's like out there right now. And and, 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 and and all we could do right now is just get better and better what we do and still tell the world what we won't tolerate. But at the same time, we want to prepare our young boys for what the world is dishing out to them right now because they're not playing fair. You know, they're not playing fair. Right. A lot of them had a head start over us for one when they introduced slavery and became rich. They built wealth off mm-hmm. of our backs. So we didn't have a good start. We had to start with nothing. And some of us are still maintaining our households with nothing. We're making ends meet. But we we want more than that for our kings. We want them to to be able to start their own businesses. And we got to and we got to get away from, you know, asking people for for a, a job sometimes. We got to think about building our own our own empire. How are we going to become kings if we don't have our empire? Come on now. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Dig, so, um, dig gold, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can go, Doc. You know, I can go, man. But, you know, and I'm, I'm so glad that God has given me this special ability, this special gift that I was able to build this platform so we can charge up our kings that are doing their thing right now. A lot of times you need a little charging up. And that's basically what Dr. Dr. Kelly book is about, really, to me. It's a, it's, a, it's a book for leaders. A lot of times the leaders are getting a little disappointed. They don't have that. You know, sometimes you do need a little cheering squad once in a while. You, your, your wife or your girl may not be there because you t- you took time away from them because you're out in the world trying to save the world, trying to teach God's principles, and you're not in the home. So sometimes you won't get that support. So we built this support system, Next Man Up, and say, hey, Jay Windsor, we know you're out there grinding hard, and, and sometimes you don't see your family for several weekends, but we're here for you, and we're supporting you. John E. Ross, same thing with you. And Marty the Greatest, sometimes you may not get that support from your friends where they proud of you, and they showing up to your showcases or buying your music. Mm-hmm. But but we gave you this platform mm-hmm. that you can sell the music to somebody who want to support you. You know, and I always felt like God brings the right people at the right time. You may not see a million people watching the show, the show right now because it's not meant for them right now. They're not ready for this show. But as as the as the days go by, the weeks go by, the months go by, they will be ready eventually. They will be ready. So it's, it's meant for certain people who are at, at, are making of a king. Not everybody's making of a king. So. uh Thank you so much, y'all, for being part of this platform. Thank you, Doc, for bringing that up. Wow. The doors of the church is open, brother. (laughs) 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 Batman, Batman, he knew he'll make the pastor cry. (laughs) Praise God. Dr. Jerry Royce, thank you for those words of wisdom. Amen. You got a robot by your side, man. Can you rock something for us? Amen. Take us to a song break. Yes, sir. Here we go. We'll be back on the other side. Amen. Worldwide podcast. I want 
sure to know y'all blessed. It may not look like it. Oh, I know. It may not feel like it. Trust me, I know. But you're still blessed. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's sound crazy. <laughs> I know. But look here. No, right Everything far from great. You work at a fast pace. Can't oh, yeah. afford a bad break. Right you got more than enough on your plate. Ain't trying to play. Cause money ain't what we both I play. Right you depressed. Cause society's a mess. The economy got yeah. you stressed. You work more but make less. Come night, though the years draw nigh, thou should have no pleasure in them. Jesus is gone and what your ill is soon to come. It's never too late. What you give in your life today, do you remember?
Chris Lock Worldwide Podcast. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome back, amen, to Positive Power 21.org Worldwide Christian Media and Music Vision and iHeartRadio. I am your host, Dr. Paul Kelly, author of one of the hottest newest books out there. Amen. Homelessness in the Church. We ask you all to get a copy of that powerful book. Amen. It would change your life. Amen. Many times, amen, we go through life, amen, in spiritual depression, but it's silent. It's silent, and people have a tendency of overlooking that. Even the, our leaders are sometimes going through spiritual depression. This powerful book would change your life. It would definitely change your life. I ask you guys to get the book, study it. It's a powerful, powerful book. Our producer, Jerry Royce, is credited in this powerful book. We're doing many things, amen, within this ministry. Praise God. Amen. Welcome back. Amen to this powerful Next Man Up Weekly Summit. Again, we got a powerful lineup today. Y'all, we have in church, amen. We got some powerful kings out there. Happy Father's Day to each and every one of our fathers who are listening by the airwaves and who are joining us on this show. We have today with us, amen, artists, amen, Jay Windsor Music, amen, Martison Harmon, Martison the Great, amen, meaning he has the greatness of God in him, apostle, Johnny Worlds, let's talk to the Lord. Amen. Ronnie Jefferson uh, could not be with us today. I am, again, I am your host, moderator, Dr. Paul Kelly. Amen. Powerful songs, powerful songs. Amen. All of our artists. Amen. Yes, powerful songs. Amen. 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 Gentlemen, y'all ready for this next half? Amen. Uh, Again, we'd like to thank everyone for tuning in with us. And I'd like, amen, to... Uh, thank our producer, amen, for just giving those shout-outs to those who are joining in with us, amen. Uh, Literally, thank you all. I want to ask everyone who's joining in with us, amen, and listening, share this file right now. Just begin to share it, amen, with someone, praise God, because this, this, this panel, amen, is is a powerful panel, amen, that is producing kings and queens as we speak, amen, even in South Africa, Come on, somebody, across the world, literally. So we thank, we thank, amen. Gentlemen, all right, we're getting ready to dig deep. We're getting ready to dig deep, amen, into this next topic, praise God. Amen. Oftentimes, gentlemen, and this is serious, as we think about, amen, what David went through, as we think about leadership selections today, it's valuable to remember God's words to Samuel, amen. Literally, Samuel, Samuel was the one who basically was behind the choosing, amen, or the appointing of King Saul, amen. And also, David, the Lord sees not as man sees. Can we say amen on that? <laughs> amen. 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 Thank First thank Samuel you. Yes, sir. Amen. If it was up to man, oh, Lord. <laughs> amen. <laughs> First, First Samuel two. As I set up this commentary for this second half, amen, and I asked the viewers, amen, to get that book, amen, Homelessness in the Church, amen, and share this file, amen. These gentlemen are some powerful kings on our platform today. The man looks on the outward appearance, but the God looks on the heart. First Samuel 16 and 7 speaks of that in, in integrity. God and, and God, sometimes, amen, we see an upside-down kingdom. Now, watch where Dr. Kelly is going with this, amen. The last or overlooked may end up being the best choice. Did, did y'all catch that? Did y'all catch that, amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah, amen. Some, sometimes, amen, God see it that way, an upside-down kingdom. In other words, the last shall be. Can somebody help me with that? The last shall be what? Mm-hmm. First, 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 first there shall it be is. last. There it is. Come on, somebody. The best leaders may be the one nobody is looking for. On, and it can be tempting just to jump, amen, at initially impressive candidates. Come on, gentlemen. We're getting ready to get it. We're getting ready to get serious on this yes, thing. Sir. The one, amen, we, we, you may see the one in the church who, who rises and dazzles, amen, not just in the church, but on the jobs. Even in your cousin's church. Y'all know I'm going with this, amen. 
person that other people seem to want to follow, but high self-confidence, just as you, Jim, and I, and I feel you all, Jim, I feel y'all spirit. High self-confidence actually leads to some, 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 sometimes, hey amen. Now watch, with, watch, with, watch, watch this now. Sometimes people can be overconfident. <laughs> amen. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes amen. leads to low performance. According to, and I did some research on this, amen, this commentary, according to a 2012 Harvard Business Review article, charisma is not what God values. Character is. And you all are blowing this out the window on today, man. Amen. So the next the next part of this subject that is relevant into the making of a king, amen, who I am in the image of God, what would it take to learn to see a person's character? To God's eyes. I'm going to ask this again. What would it take to learn to see a person's character? In other words, they people don't see what we see because we're looking through the spiritual realms. And here's where I'm going with this. It is significant that David was out doing his job as a shepherd. It's significant that we, as kings and queens, just as you all are today, are out doing our various ministries. But consciously, listen, look what David went through. Consciously, he was a, a, a sheep herder. That wasn't the best job. That wasn't the best thing, man. His, son, his daddy, Jesse, gave him that job. Amen. So when Samuel found him, here we go. When God saw you, when God saw you, gentlemen, faithful performances in the job that you already doing. Amen. Faithful performances. And what you're doing already, God sees that. Amen. So in preparing for a bigger ministry, as David, in David's case, in 1 Samuel 17, I want to say 17, 34 through 7, amen, Samuel soon discovered that David is strong. Now they see that you are strong, confident, amen. Some of them, you got the, you got the haters on your jobs. Come on, somebody. Look, look out. Amen. Here's where I'm going with this, gentlemen, amen. We're going to take it back at the top, amen. Many times leaders appoint others in leader, leader, leadership positions, not realizing that person's powerful gift and abilities, such as King David, amen. I want to really, really talk about that, amen, on this morning, amen. We, we, we talked about the earlier topics, amen, the standards, amen, and uh in today's society, amen, we're seen as modern ambassadors and kings and queens, amen, and setting the standards, amen. Now we want to talk and close out this subject matter here, the making of choosing of a king, amen. I, we don't look like what we've been through. We're getting ready to close this thing out, amen, in our own lives, amen, to God, amen. He shaped us and he molded us and it hurts sometimes. This may take up right now. This is this is going to close us out. How? Just talk to us about how God shaped you. Oh my, oh my brother, Amen. Jay Jay Windsor, Amen. Musician, gospel artist, Jay Windsor. How? When did you know that that pain was? Oh my God, that it hurt. Okay, God, you got me. You got me. Take it from there, right there. I'm gonna leave it right there, brother. You got my attention oh, now, God. Go ahead. <laughs> Take about three minutes Man. on this, sir, because we got we got we to gotta leave some room for Martinson Great and John Ross. Take about three minutes, Amen. God, you got my attention now. Man, I, I would have to say, uh, probably around the age of of eleven, when I found out that I was adopted, I went through a period of almost from a maybe from almost fifteen years of being very angry and very bitter. Wow. I re- I really felt as if like okay, you know, this woman who who carried me for nine months, gave me a way to complete strangers. That's mm. how I felt. And so I felt, uh, I didn't feel, I don't want to use the word worthy, but I felt incompetent, incomplete. There was a lot of hurt. There was a lot of anger. There was a lot of resentment that I had towards my biological mother. Wow. Fast forward about 15, 20 years, and the Lord set it up through my wife for me to be able to have an opportunity to connect with my biological mother. Wow. Nobody but God. At mm. that moment, at that moment, that anger and that bitterness was gone. 
God mm-hmm. got my attention to say, I know what you were dealing with, but it was a process. See, a lot of us want the promise, but we don't want to go through the process to get to the promise. Ooh. Teach Doc. We Teach, want, come on. We want to be king. We want to be kings. We want to be queens. We want to rule and dom- and and and, mm. and 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 rule, but we don't want to serve. Yes. Mm. In order to become a, a great king, you still you have to start off as a servant, and you have to remain as a servant in order to be a great king in your kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So come on. God, God got my attention in the midst of all that pain. God got my attention to say, I'm still here. I haven't left you. I haven't forsaken you. But you got to trust me in the process. Mm. And David, I'm sure, didn't understand the process. Come on. Come he didn't on. understand the process. Mm-hmm. But the outcome of the process be- 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 became relevant because we're discussing it right now. Yes, sir. We t- yeah. The last segment, we t- you-, you touched on something about Kim or Ch- uh, Kelsaday. That's it. You talked about him not being known. Come on. The Bible says that that a tree is known by the fruit it bears. When you walk up to a tree, you don't see that you you might recognize the tree. Come on. But in order for you to determine what type of tree it is, you look at the byproduct of what that tree produces. And so when God looks at us, he doesn't see us the way that we see through our lenses. He looks at the fruit that we're going to that we're going to uh, deposit into the earth. That's what he's looking for. That's what he wants to be able to recognize his children by. And so, as men, uh, as we're being you being shaped into the, the the image of God on a consistent basis, we got to keep that in mind that we must be producing positive fruit. Come and on. that's the way that God that's the way that that God will get your attention, and you will get God's attention when you're doing this. So that was a mon- monumental moment in my life. Uh, men of God, when 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 I had an opportunity to to reconnect with my biological mom, God got my attention right then, Woo. because he can he got my attention to say, I know that you've been hurting, I know that you've been suffering, but you've been yeah. faithful in the midst of that suffering, and because of that, here's here's one piece of the reward that I have for you here on earth, and I just want to leave mm. it right there. Man. Powerful, powerful, oh my God, brother, doctor, hallelujah. My my brother, amen. It's all right to go on and get your praise on. Somebody give him some show him some love out there. Send those hard stuff out there, man. That that was powerful, amen. Thank you all for tuning in, amen. Share this powerful file, amen. Pick up the book, Homelessness in Your Church, because we're discussing it as we speak, amen. He talked about a tree, and the tree, amen, is sometimes known by the fruit and bears. Let me share with you, uh, sir, amen, how powerful that statement is, amen. But I'm going to give you the flip side of the tree, amen. When Jesus came to a gardener that was planting fig trees, one of the fig trees did not produce fruits. Watch where we're going with it. You're talking about the making of a king, amen. But sometimes, amen, as Jesus was talking to the farmer, the farmer, he asked the farmer, why isn't this tree growing? And you just, man, you just touched on it, amen. Praise God. You had to get past some pain, amen, about being adopted. You you went through some pain, amen. Well, this farmer, he he asked Jesus, he said, just let me keep planting it. Let let me let me keep just just watering in it, Amen. And and if it doesn't produce some fruit, cut it down. Oftentimes, what happens, Amen. Jay Windsor and my listeners. Oftentimes, what happens? Sometimes we're being planted around folk who are not producing. Did y'all catch that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some, literally, man. So, so the farmer. So then the farmer asked, "Just, just let me plant it some more. Let me." The others was producing. Sometimes, a man, a fig tree, or a person, or those around you, you can pour all you can into them, and they won't produce. They won't produce, and even the roots sometimes it'll filter into the other ones that are producing. A man that will sometimes alter. The kingship. Look out, my my brothers. Amen. Y'all y'all got y'all got dark dig, digging deep on this morning, y'all. Amen. Praise God. Oh my God, John Ross. Amen. I'm sorry, Marty the Great. Amen. And then we go right to Apostle John Ross. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Doc, talk to us. Talk to us, sir. Amen. 
Oh, my God. Many times leaders are appointed by other people. Literally, we're talking about leaders. Amen. Mm-hmm. And when they appoint you, sir, not realizing your potential gift, they don't realize your potential gift and your ability, mm-hmm. such as King David. We don't mm-hmm. look like what we've been through. We don't look like we've been through. We've been through the fire, my brothers. I know I, I, I'm going to get a testimony out of you. I can feel it. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Right. You, my brother, I, I don't know anything about you. I haven't I haven't even really looked at your, your portfolio, amen. But you have you have triumphed over some hurt, some pain, some sometimes difficulties. But God had you right where he wants you, sir, several years ago, huh. even leading up to this year. Talk to us about that, my brother, amen. And the making of your kingship, how did you know how when did you know? That okay, God, I, I, I'm I'm ready. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Talk to us. Talk to us, my brother. Okay, I'm gonna go to the past, and then I'm gonna have to quickly bring it to the present. But even before I was born, I almost died with my mother. Mm. Uh, she she got uh, her high blood pressure. I'm not sure what, what the full story, but I almost died. Then at Please. four years old, I was given an overdose of medicine. The hospital was calling me the miracle baby because 90% of my blood was medicine. Mm. Now, I survived it because my parents applying the principles of God. Now, the yes. fact of the matter is, going through my life, I never knew why. I, uh, I never knew why I survived. And mm. I always wondered. But, I, you know, I, I wasn't worried about it. I was just doing my, my own thing. I was just doing my own thing. But I, I knew... I was I was always hated by people. Uh, always always picked on. I, I didn't know why. I just I, I I didn't too much ask. I just I, but I knew as I got older, I started yearning. There was something greater, something greater for me to do. Yes, and, sir. Yes, and, sir. and then I started, you know, I started taking my gift, which was just playing the drums at the time. Taught myself mm-hmm. how to play the drums. I was just playing the drums, and I started yes, expanding, yes, writing songs. Started started rapping and, and I'm like, oh man, this, I can turn this into anything that I want to. That's that's a pretty special gift. Then, as I started learning more about God and started, you know, building my relationship, I realized I had a call. Mm. Now, the thing about this is, I didn't I didn't want the call. <laughs> like now, nah, that's that's too much my, my, my. responsibility. Come that's on. too much responsibility. I don't have nothing to do with me, you know. But I was cool with the greatness. Amen. I was cool with the greatness. He's trying to get your attention now. He, he he's on the way. Go ahead, bro. Exactly. I was cool with the greatness. I, I okay. I like being great. I like the name of Marty the Greatest. I like that. I take that. But I don't know about doing the serving part of it. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. You know. Come on. So the fact the fact of the matter is, as I as uh, there was one time in my life where uh, where God had set it up for me to make money doing my gift mm. and basically he he, he uh, that's when i came to the conclusion that this is what god want me to do and and but and all of this stuff comes but it doesn't come without the call it doesn't come without serving and so i started and i never had a problem serving i never had mm. a problem serving i just didn't want uh people you know serving people you know Yes, serving yes. A, a large a group of uh, people. So mm-hmm. basically, fast forward today, I accept my calling. I accept yes, my calling. Sir. I say, okay, you know, the greatness doesn't come without the calling. Okay, cool. Yeah. I accept my calling, and as I and as I it was in my calling, people started hating me more, mm. and they started fighting yeah. against me more. Yeah. And wow. just like Jay Windsor say, it was the process. I, I, I'm serving. Yeah, I am serving people who don't like me. Man, and I, oh. I, I couldn't understand it. I'm like, mm. I, I, David, and, and David. <laughs> exactly, people, and, and you know that's the thing. Yeah. I, I seen one time a pastor saying, you know, David didn't complain. He, you know, he just served the be people that got that uh the same position that he's supposed to have. And I yeah, that was myself, psychology. It's impossible for us to uh, know that. I'm pretty sure David complained. He was human. 
He, he ran. He ran for a little while in them caves. <laughs> hey, exactly. Go ahead. He could. He could have took Saul out. But go ahead, Doc. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he said, "God, why am I taking care of this guy?" And and I'm I'm greater. <laughs> mm. I'm greater. And yes. but but the, the like Jay Wilson we just said the process, the, the process. process. And one thing I learned today, and I just realized this, reading the scripture. I, I, I mean, it was coming, but it, it, it was a full, it came full frontal. It was a full realization. Share this foul. Share this foul. Go stop. Most of the time, the process is not for us. Mm. The process is for what we have to do for others. Mm. Did, did you Come catch on. that? The yeah, process is, 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 is how we're going to teach other people to become leaders. And I I, I I I finally got a light bulb came on and I'm like, Oh <laughs> you mean yes, to sir. tell me that I had I had to serve them people who hate me? Because yes, sir. even though I, I it was getting to my greater, but it's to help somebody else to get to their greater. Yeah. And and, and I, I I think we cannot be remiss to to we we we, we have to get this point is that is we are leaders to create other leaders say that, that it, huh? whether you're a father, whether you're an uncle, whether you're a pastor, whether you whether you just a, a, a artist like me and Jay Windsor, we are to create other leaders and we have to accept the process. We have to accept the process. We got to go through serving people who don't necessarily like us, who know that we have a gift. <laughs> and that's the only reason why they don't like you. They know what you're there for. <laughs> they know that they <laughs> see one. Yeah. They know that they hold in the seat. Yes, sir. And they know they know what's coming. Uh, I mean, come on. Yes, sir. Uh, thank Wizard, you, brother. You pick all this off, brother. You pick all this off. Wow, wow. <laughs> so many times, hey, man. Sometimes it's the process, my brother. Hey, man, is what we have to do to help others. It's the process. Hey, man. David, David had many, many, many people. Hey, man, that God had appointed him to. Fifteen years later, literally. Now he wasn't king yet. He was just a little rude fellow, literally, amen. But it was 15 years later, just as you have pointed out, sir, when you went through all the adversities of your health, amen, and being physically challenged. But you realized, amen, God got your attention, amen. You sounded like you said, send me, I'll go. I'll go if I have to go. If I could just interject just just for a second. Yes, sir. Now, you you said something. You said that now. You you don't know nothing about me, but you Mm. said now. The greater is coming, and the greater yeah. is coming. I'm yes. getting people who's asking me to witness, and I, I was a deacon for three weeks. Never been there prophesied to. There we go, right never there. Never been prophesied to, mm-hmm. and directly, I never been prophesied over directly. Lady, we was leaving our church to start a church with my mother-in-law. She, she's a pastor now, and we just, we just, we, we, um, we're serving in her church. The lady came up to me. She said, "Hey, uh, God's going to use your voice." I was a deacon for three weeks. The, the bishop, a bishop seen me, and he told my pastor, make him a minister. For three Look weeks. Lord Jesus. And, 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 and the greater is coming. So when you accept the process and, and you, you, I mean, when you accept the process wholeheartedly, God will accelerate you. Because of now you have the heart. You yes, have sir. the heart. But now Praise you God. submit it to the call. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You, you submitted to the calls. Brothers, amen. I, I, I want you all to give me your thumbs up. Just press your keypad, man. Give me that thumbs up. Get this book, man, because you guys, you, you gentlemen may not realize that this book, amen, Homelessness in the Church, it don't take but about two seconds to download it, literally. We're talking about some topic contents in this particular book that is going to change leaders around the world. Homelessness in the Church, while I didn't know that. We're talking about it in it, having personally experienced physical homelessness myself, spiritual depression for a short period of time in my life as a kid coming out of a rural Mississippi in a house with no running water, zero, yeah. no heat, no nothing. Amen. But it wasn't that. Amen. We were happy because we didn't know we were poor back in the early 60s. It was <laughs> after going off to college to start a life of my own where I had no resources and I had to stay in my car, gentlemen. 
and then live from shelter to shelter. Amen. So what we're talking about is real. Amen. Having gone on to go through the military and accomplish three top academia degrees, a bachelor's in divinity, a master's in divinity, amen, and a doctor's in theology, having served on various leadership boards, going through all that, amen, and a stillborn and being attacked by spiritual warfare. Yes, this exists within the church, spiritual homelessness in the church around the world in the government. However, I give God the praise for his triumphant victory of overcoming these psychological wolves, amen, because it was just, it was only temporarily. Brother, you hit on something. John Ross, amen, we're going to turn, we're going to close this thing out, Doc, with you, amen, and each one of you to come back and give, amen, some words of wisdom, amen, on your ministries, and we're going to close out in John Ross's prayer. But, John, take us take us out, man, and we're going to go back at the top. Tell us where each one of you are. We can get your, your music and your ministry from. John, take us out, sir, on Amen, John, and, and and be sincere, Amen. I know you are. That's why I love having you. You you have a way, sir, of looking into the glimpse, Amen, and gleaming, Amen, off the glory of God. Many times, leaders, and I've heard your story, John, Amen, Apostle John Ross. Many times, leaders appoint others to leadership positions, not realizing that that person powerful gift and ability. They don't even realize it sometimes, especially as a music music worship director like yourself, Amen. There are jealousies in that. Amen. King David went through that. He played music. Amen. You're very similar to him. Amen. All all he asked to do, all King Saul asked him to do as as a young kid to kill this king, this giant king. So after doing so, David was kind of confused by the cheering of the people and by the, I guess you can say, the spiritual warfare against you know, King Saul towards him. How have you handled those adversities, John? Amen. Pastor John Ross, to arrive well, into where you are, sir. I want to put just a little bit of, of a twist on it. Um, Talk to me, Doc. Many times that we can experience this kind of hurt or pain just from God himself, because we know mm. that God is there to be a mother and a father for those who don't have a mother or a father or for those who are facing issues in that area. I'm a living witness that God can be that that uh, uh, wholeness. He can be that healer. He can fill those voids that are needed in our lives. And so um, – with that, at the same time, we can experience those same hurts and pains coming from God when we don't understand him or we don't have relationship with him. And that was the case with me after uh, being minister of music and, and after uh, accepting Come the call on, into the ministry and thinking that I had uh, thought that I knew what I was doing. I thought that I was arriving correctly, and then come on, to come to find out that I got hit with two major accidents that ended in fatalities, and mm. and me coming out of that trying to figure out God, why why is my whole world falling apart? I thought my that Lord. we had relationship. I thought that I thought we were good. I was out trying to do a work for you, a tragedy. You yeah. To God. Like, how can you Talk let to something you. like this happen to me? What did I do? I was praying. I was fasting. Ooh. I was seeking you. How can you allow this to happen to me? I mean, and mm. and so and I took it so personal because one of the tragedies was one of my choir members as as we was out doing the work for the Lord, and mm. so, but it was I backslid took many years of being backslidden before the Lord gave me a supernatural rebirth. And in that supernatural rebirth, I had that one-on-one divine time with him that Mm -hmm. he explained everything to me. He explained that I was not rooted and grounded in Christ, even though we did, he did cover me because I have a created purpose that he has called Mm -hmm. me to Live. So he covered me during those times that I was not in him. He covered me like he covered Abraham. However, he said, now it's time for you to understand relationship. We don't, we don't realize that being saved is just 
gets us to the threshold to building and going into relationship. It doesn't mm-hmm. stop at being saved, and, and a lot of churches come on, come on. make that mistake after they have the altar call, and you come down to the altar, and you get saved, and you say, I got saved today, and you think that's it. But no, that's, that's, that's not it. We need to be filled and baptized in the Holy Spirit after that, and then just realize that that is the beginning. That is your initial stage of God bringing you into the kingdom of God for relationship, not just stopping at being saved. But anyway, yes, it took God. God to really heal. He healed me. He healed the pain that was that was in me, and I mean, I hollered and I screamed, and and mm. and 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 the pain was so severe that I had been going through. But the Lord healed me, and then once He healed me, He brought me into relationship with Him. And once He brought me into relationship with Him, then He began to explain to me about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I re- need Amen. relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And so as I begin to develop my relationship with Christ, that begin to strengthen the bond, and they begin to heal the wounds, and they begin to give revelation to everything that I had gone through. Yes, so sir. now, as as after being rebirthed, now I'm on a more of a solid foundation. Not to say that I don't get hit with the trials of life, because I still do. But mm-hmm. however, we start becoming that tree that's rooted and grounded in Christ, and we know, we understand the origin of why we are being hit. So then now we're able to to stand a little stronger not to say that we don't we need we need to run to him even the more but we're able to stand a little stronger rooted and grounded in him and and mm-hmm. and from that we begin to grow into those fruitful trees that begin to disciple and teach others and in my studies of the kings in the Bible, I found out my favorite king that we refer to as righteous kings. In the Bible, we referred, the Bible sometimes in our studies referred to kings as the righteous kings. And in the Bible, those kings were given those names because God had called them and given them a specific assignment to carry out for him. So because of that, God called them righteous kings. But you will read that their ways, their character character and their worship was not true to God of Israel like David. However, my favorite king in Scripture that I want to end with is King Josiah. Josiah was a godly king and one of the world's youngest kings. He was the only king that did everything like God said. And at the age of 16, he began to seek God earnestly. And in four years, he began purging Judah of all that false worship. Hallelujah. And Hilka found the book of of the law written by Moses while the temple was being repaired. For Mm. the discovery of Josiah, he bought a renewed commitment to God's word from that discovery, and spiritual realms were accomplished by the age of 26. King Josiah had a zeal for God. Josiah designed or excuse me, desire to know if the sins of Judah had reached a a point that divine judgment was inevitable. Josiah played, excuse me, pleased God because he himself uh, was the only king that burned all the vessels of Baal and all the Ashroth. He crushed all the idols, thus bringing back holiness and revival to the nation. He revealed by scriptural principles and repentance, thus bringing revival to a nation. Josiah is described as the most faithful and the most dedicated of all the kings, including David. And so when I found this particular king in the book, in fact, I think he is the only king that did everything like God had commanded. That's the principle that I like to follow now that I have been rebirthed. Can't do nothing about the past. Only thing I could do is learn from the past and grow from it. And so, but now the real work comes into now that I'm in the knowledge of 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 my relationship, now that I'm in the knowledge of God and I know what God requires of me, now I have to begin to 
uh, live that thing now. Now, it, now, there's all the excuses are gone. You know, don't have, don't have yeah. no excuse to try to try, try to. Well, God, it, there was this, and then God, this was that, and I didn't think that was fair. I didn't think that was right. But now I understand all of that. I understand what God requires now. So now it's time for me to step up to become that king now that God has created me to be. Can't change the past, but I sure can change the future. Thank you. Thank you, Apostle John Ross. Powerful words of wisdom. Hallelujah. You had to go through some pain. Amen. You went through a period of recovery through the accident. And and from there, you you had a closer walk, and and it evidenced through your works, your productivity. King Hosea a godly king for such a time as this. Gentlemen, we thank each and every one of you. I want to go back to the top. Very powerful, amen. Very powerful, Apostle John Ross. To all of you gentlemen, amen. Let's start at the top. My brother, amen. Tell us where we can get your your information from, sir. Amen. My brother, amen. We're going to start at the top. Just tell us where we can get your information from. Amen. Jay Windsor. Uh, again, this has been an awesome opportunity God bless yes, you, sir. each one of you brothers. And again, happy Father's Day. You guys can connect with me at www.imjwindsor. So that's www.im, the letter J, Windsor, W-I-N-D-S-O-R.com. Uh, you can also download my latest uh, album, EP, Transparency of Worship, on all digital outlets and wherever you stream your music, Apple Music, Google Play, Amazon, Spotify, SoundCloud. We just love to be able to uh, connect with you again at www.imjwindsor.com. God bless. Praise God. Thank you, man of God. Amen. Walk in wisdom, my brother, my king. Amen. Walk in wisdom. Happy Father's Day to you. Martison Harmon. Amen. Marty the Great. Amen. Your thoughts, my brother. How can we get some of your, your material? First of all, I want to uh, give honor to God. I want to give honor to you and honor to the awesome producer, Jerry Royce, for just allowing me to be a part of this powerful summit. I am now effectively uh, and and totally a a fan of Jay Windsor. Hallelujah. uh, (laughs) Likewise. likewise. (laughs) Yes, (laughs) yes, sir. And I want to say anytime y'all want to invite me back and would allow me, I, this is spiritually, I mean, this is spiritually enriching and, yes, uh, it uh, and it gives you strength. Um, but you can uh, contact me, uh, Marty the Greatest, on uh, just just type in Marty the Greatest all together in, in any uh, social media outlets, that Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, I mean, with, whichever you are on, uh, YouTube, just Marty the Greatest. This is exactly how it sounds. Um, and uh, my album, uh, New Era, is actually out right now on all social media outlets. Um, that's uh, iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud. Uh, and uh, once again, all you have to do is type in Marty the Greatest, uh, all one word, all together. Yes, sir. Um, and I want to say happy Father's, uh, Father's Day to everyone on the panel. And a happy Father's Day to everyone out there. This has truly been a blessing. I, I yes. pray that and, and decree that anybody who listens to right now, mm. that they, even if they don't have a father, they, they get to know God as a father because he mm. is our father. He's our Abba father. And right now, if you don't have a father, we, we pray that you find yourself in somebody's house tomorrow so you can get to know our father. In Jesus' yes. name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Marty the Great. Amen. And John Ross, amen, my brother. I know you just said those powerful words. Amen. Next project, sir, where can we find your work? Remember, now thy creator is in every digital download station globally. So if you have not picked up that EP, pick it up. We have uh, Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show, now uh, twenty eight. Spin Award nominated and you can find that show on Facebook just put in Let's Talk to the Lord every episode will come up on the like page or the group page or go over to iHeartRadio 
put in Let's Talk to the Lord. Every episode, season one, season two is there. And or right now, uh, we're over on TuneIn, and I just found that out. Uh, if you go to TuneIn and put in Let's Talk to the Lord, every episode from season one and season two is now over on TuneIn Radio. And uh, we thank God that over on SoundCloud, I, I, I took a step of faith, and, and I said, well, Lord, I'm trying to uh, build the radio ministry and, and, and get some more listeners out there. And, and I, I put an episode up on SoundCloud and, and looked at it this morning. Yesterday, <laughs> Dr. Kelly, I, I, my faith almost started to shake a little bit because we had maybe two or three listens. And I said, well, we thank God for the two or three. Two or three. <laughs> 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 so I said, well, Lord, speak a, speak a word in the name of Jesus, because we really want to reach as many as we can. And look this morning, and there was over uh, 1,300, 1,300 listens as, as of God's today. So wow. we, we praise God for to that one episode over there. So I said, well, praise God. God's word is getting out. So please, um, you can go to speaker.com, WYTV7, Christian Broadcasters Network, um, and click on Broadcasters. Click on Let's Talk to the Lord. And every episode from Season 1 and Season 2 um are there so we invite you all to uh become listeners of Let's Talk to the Lord. And we definitely gonna to have to reach out to, to Jay Windsor and, and Marty the Greatest. We gotta get y'all on sometime in season three. Yes, Amen. Yes. So we can really minister this word and feature your music on an episode Amen. of Let's Talk to the Lord. Amen. Amen. So Amen. we praise God for that. So um again and hopefully, you know, we're still working on getting some new music out there. So we pray that maybe we might have something new, Dr. Kelly, available Amen. before 2018 closes. Hallelujah. Well, gentlemen, you've heard it. Amen. We thank each and every one of you all. We thank each and every one of you. John Ross, stay there. We're going to go ahead and let you close out in prayer. We thank every listener, all of the dignitaries on today, amen, that tune in with us, including, amen, the doctors and the pastors. We acknowledge you all. So we thank you all for joining in with us. I don't want to call names because I don't want to miss anyone, amen, but our producer has them posted. We ask you all to, amen, go out and support this powerful book. Give me your thumbs up. Several people have already done this, amen. They've supported this book, Homelessness in Your Church. There's a disenfranchisement. There's a silence throughout the world in many homes and churches of psychological and spiritual depression, displacement, a perversion of narcissistic abusive powers, dysfunctional behavior upon the helpless, upon the homeless, innocent families, the disabled, the poor and hungry. It goes on and on. This toxic disease has assaulted and pervaded millions of churches and families throughout the world, leaving many victims feeling spiritually depressed, psychologically homeless, confused, displaced, isolated. And the title of the book is, somebody's probably saying, wow, I didn't know that. Exactly. That's, that's what God gave to me. Homelessness in the church is, is rocking the charts, amen. But we are honored, amen, to teach this book on a national level along with my other book. This book will be taught at our PTI, Pastors Time, International Biblical Amen. College that will be launching literally very soon here shortly. We're just waiting on some proper governance and license to get deposited to my email so we can go ahead and get this posted. Praise God. You have to do things decent and in order. Praise God. Homeless in the church. Amen. Get the book. We thank all of you for tuning in. Thank you and God bless you. I'm Dr. Paul Kelly. And we thank our producer, Jerry Royce. Amen. And each and every one of you, happy Father's Day to my father, Dr. Price. Amen. In Columbia, Mississippi, powerful man of God. We love him. Amen. Apostle John Ross, take us out in prayer. Lord God, we thank you for this next man up summit. Lord, we thank you, my God, for your divine intervention yes. on this broadcast today. Lord, we thank yes. you for bringing us together. Lord, we believe by faith that this meeting was divinely Hallelujah. orchestrated by you, and we were brought together 
by you to reach somebody. We believe and we decree and we declare and we speak it into the atmosphere that somebody has been touched. Somebody will be touched. Somebody has been healed and will be healed, not only mentally, but physically as well, mentally and physically healed by the anointing power of the Holy Spirit through the word of the vessels, the vessels, the willing vessels that have opened up their mouths to speak your words on this morning. And God, we ask you to bless the fathers out there on this Father's Day weekend. Lord, we crush every demonic spirit that will come to disrupt every gathering. We crush them to death. We command them to go to hell fire right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to, to give travel and mercies. We speak a word over those who are traveling over the highways to visit their fathers and to have their gatherings. We speak safety over their travels, traveling mercy, traveling grace, release angels that will go with them to and from their destinations that they will reach there safely. God, we ask you to send angels to each and every gathering where Satan will try to cause a disruption. We decree and declare a peaceful, wonderful yes. celebration yes. in yes. you on this Father's Day weekend for the fathers mm-hmm. and the children. Lord, help us be the kings that you have anointed us to be. Create in us, God. We know, God, that this be that it begins with us, create in mm-hmm. us a clean heart and renew mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. us, in me, in all of us, the right spirit. And Lord, we yes. know once you create in us and remake us and rework us to what is good and what is pleasing to you, then we will yes. see that begin you, to Lord. change. Yes. The situations that are all around us, God, and we decreed and declared that, Lord, we ask you to to touch those who are hurting on this day. Lord, those that may be hurting because they don't have their fathers with them. Maybe they're hurting because the relationship is not what they wanted or was not what they wanted. Whatever the problems are, God, we ask you by your Holy Spirit to saturate every heart saturate every mind, break up every fallow ground, and begin the healing process in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that 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 somebody will pick up the phone and call and when they call they would repent and ask for forgiveness we decree and declare that the heart of the call will be receptive at the other end to say yes i forgive you yes i love you we decree and declare that new relationships new 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 foundations will begin this father's day we we decree mm-hmm. and declare that whatever happened has happened, that it can't be changed. We can only grow from it, but we decree and declare that we can move forward in a much better way, in a much better light through Jesus Christ. Help those relationships, not only with fathers, but with mothers. Rebuild family, rebuild relationships. We decree yes. it and we declare it, and we say that it is so by the yes. power of the Holy Spirit. And in my, my, the my. name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Amen. We thank each and every one of you for tuning in to this powerful Next Man Up Summit. Amen. I would be in remiss if I didn't thank, amen, the ladies of midnight. My God. Oh, my God. Starting with Paula G. Amen. She rocked and graced the airwaves. Thank you, Paula G., for inviting me on the show last night. Amen. And then I stayed at church, amen, with the ladies of radio, <laughs> Shea Sams, amen, Ch- Chanel Lynn Malloy, Patrice Jackson, and Paula G. again, once again, we thank each and every one of them, and we thank our producer, Jerry Royce. Amen. I'm Dr. Paul Kelly. 
Thank you. God bless you, gentlemen, and God bless this nation. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Kelly. Awesome, awesome, powerful podcast. And thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on Next Man Up. You can find us every week at 10 o'clock right here on Saturdays with Next Man Up with our moderator, Dr. Paul Kelly. Don't forget about his book. We put posted out there on Facebook. It's called Hom- Homelessness in the Church, dot, dot, dot. I did not know that. All right. Is that right, Doc? <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. Thank you. All right. Sir. Hallelujah. God, bless. Jerry Royce is credited in that book gentlemen amen nations praise god thank you jerry royce for amen being so humble. and doc before we go i just want to congratulate all the other podcasts that that we carry on this network on positive power double xi christian media of course yes. we carry john's show let's talk to the lord we carry the jay williams show and all those guys and also yes. tina hobson they were all nominated for several awards for the spin awards we've been nominated i believe four or five that's right, for internet radio station, announcer, all that good stuff. So I want to give a shout-out to all the podcasts, especially the ladies of Christian uh, Radio at the show you were on last night and, and all our, our new podcasts. We got Ray, we got Dr. Chanel, all of them making this an award-winning uh, um, podcast, which, which can be heard all over the world. Hallelujah. So thank you, and that's, that's Hallelujah. a good thing. Praise yes. God. We're humble. Humble Amen. to be a part of the platform. Thank you, Jerry. Amen. You, gentlemen. Be good, y'all. Have a good one. Be safe. All right. God bless you. Amen. Happy Father's Day to all. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this awesome podcast, Next Man Up. Don't forget, every Saturday you can join us at 10 o'clock with our moderator, Dr. Paul Kelly. Don't forget to try his book. That's right. Check it out on Amazon, Homelessness in the Church. Wow, I didn't know that. Also coming real soon is his Bible College, PTI, coming right here to Positive Power with Double XI. We give you more information on that. And don't forget, on Mondays you can join us with 
Reed. That's right, Pep Talk. And the Pep Talk Rally is coming real soon. Check out Reed's uh, website, her Facebook page, to find out how you could be involved with the Pep Rally. All right, take care, everybody, and have an awesome weekend. Tell somebody you love them. Peace. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. <laughs>